All right, today is the day to install the Minn Kota, and I'm gonna show you the parts that I'm going to engineer to attach this Minn Kota to the hull of the boat. All right, so first of all, I got this starboard one inch because this is gonna be leveling right here to the edge of the boat. Now, on top of this one, I have to put a plate. Okay, this is half an inch aluminum plate. Same size as the other one on the width. So it's gonna work perfect here. It's gonna be the same size. And as you can see right now, it's perfectly level. So I'm gonna fasten this plate through hole all the way to the bottom of the fiberglass. So I have to cut this piece so it fits here perfect. And also I have to cut the starboard to fit here perfect. I think this is gonna work perfect. All right, if you look at here, I made a template so I can see where the plexiglass is gonna go and just cut it so that way it comes to the same contour of this edge, double edge here. Alright, came out perfect. Okay, now we're gonna try it. All right, fits perfect. If you look at the angle here, perfect. Alright, so now the plate is gonna be resting up here, fastened through here, here, to attach it to the deck of the boat through holes. And this is the plate that's gonna be sitting right here. Right, perfect so right now I want to cut this piece right here like this and both sides so I can get some traffic through here and I don't have to hit this corner right here on my feet now we're gonna mark the bottom piece All right, both cuts came up perfect. Okay, this is the first blade. All right, perfect fit. And this is where the main code is gonna be sitting at, right up here. It's gonna be bolts here, and also bolts through here and through here. Now I'm gonna open some holes. This is the front of the unit here, and I'm gonna open three holes here for the outer which is gonna be the voided area. It's not gonna be holding to any fiberglass. But this one, this one, and all the other ones here is gonna be holding to the fiberglass. This one, I'm not gonna be using it. So I just marked it for reference. First, I'm gonna start with a small bit. All right, this is the bolts that are gonna go on this side, the stronger bolts. And this is the outer bolts that came with the unit. The thinner, but this one's gotta be stronger because they're gonna be the ones holding through the a deck of the boat. All right, all the holes are done. The reason I made these holes bigger is because these holes will shift as you're making them, and I don't want to be fighting with um, making it fit later. But these other ones are gonna be very tight fit. I already got the Minn Kota up here and I marked this little hole and I got to verify that little hole is going to mark exactly where I'm going to be drilling at. Alright, this is going to hurt. Now I'm going to make the bigger hole. All right, so that's where the bolt is gonna be resting on, right here. 
So now what I have to do is get the Makota up here. And I have to widen the base so I can get that bolt through there. It's right through okay now i'm in the pilot house and i'm gonna go right through here to the anchor locker let's see if i can reach up here all right i'm putting this bolt right here temporarily and i'm gonna put two on the other side and from here once i have it secure i'm gonna try that motor that goes up and down and after that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start drilling here in the plate now before I proceed forward, I'm going to see if it uh, deploys perfectly. went up and down perfect now I'm gonna start drilling the other holes here okay now I'm gonna open the other hole on this other side all right there it is missed those cables about half an inch Okay, so I draw here the most strongest point, one here, one here, another one here, another one here, and one back here. I'm going to put this one here temporarily. I'm measuring so that way I don't hit the bottom wall, the anchor locker wall. This is the bolts I'm gonna use. They're gonna be flush. Okay, there's some wires right through here. So I can only go from here three and a half inches so it'll be right here here I want to install a bolt flush mounted here so it has a better strength on the plate here and it's going to be under the uh, main coda unit Perfect. So that's gonna hold the plate, but I gotta flush that out. I'm gonna have to open a hole here and flush this in. Okay, I got this special little drill bit. So the only thing they do is open up the same shape. All right, so you look at the thickness of the drill bit, and it's the same as this one right here. So that's the one we're gonna be using. You see right there it's flush so that way when i put the unit it's not going to have any problems there now i got to do that to all the bolts except these two
I gotta lift up the plate. And this is all the exposed uh, holes. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this plate now, put some marine adhesive in all the uh, through holes. Right now, I'm gonna place some marine silicone around here. I already put some alcohol. So first we want to put this plate down. Now we're going to put a little bit on this plate here too. Now we're going to put this big plate on it. I'm going to drive it down with two screws. There it is. Okay, now I'm gonna go down, put a little bit of silicone here to seal that hole there. And I'll put a little bit in here too. Now I'm gonna go to the stair and She's going to torque that screw there, and I'm going to torque in the bottom. I'll bring the motor up here now. Keep going. Bring it down. All right, very important. We have to put this in and all the little openings that there's a hole. Now I didn't come with a washer for the top, but I bought some extra ones because I would like this to have a washer on top. And it came with a big washer. I also changed it from the bigger wash to a smaller one because you don't need it here. All right, before I tie this one really good, I'm going to cut the other bolts. And this is the perfect measurement there. All right, got the three bolts cut it, fit it to the size and already tight so this is all done all the bolts are done on the unit now now to continue i have to file these corners really good that way they're not sharp before painting the uh, plate here so all these sharp corners need to be filed down This corner here is very important because it's really sharp. So I'm really gonna run this one off. Usually it's better to paint this outside, but I couldn't do that with this unit. And it was gonna get all scratched up anyway if I would have painted outside. Now I'm gonna sand it in a little bit. Get a little texture on it side to side against the grain. I'm gonna use some alcohol. I put some marine adhesive yesterday on the bolts so that way there's no moisture coming in through the plate.
All right, I got this flat protective enamel and I'm gonna paint the whole plate with it. But since paint flies, I'm gonna use this cardboard around it and protect the boat and also the Minn Kota. So first what I wanna do is cover the bottom plate so I don't paint it. And I wanna cover up to here also. All right, I got a nice shelter for the paint. Let's cover all the way around. Now I can spray paint in here. It is not gonna fly around as much. All right, I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm gonna come back later and put several coats more of this flat paint. All right, right now it's completely dry. I'm gonna take out the uh, tape and the cardboard. Looks like it came out real nice. Look at that. Okay, now I'll have to do those places cover back on. So now all I have to do now is clean this area here. But the plate looks awesome. Very little unnoticeable. And I can put my foot here and walk. That's why I made this cut here. So I can still walk through there with no problems. So one last thing now to do is uh, connect the propeller. Okay, accordingly with the uh, main code instructions, take out this the little bushing there, the red one. These structures say that uh, you need to disregard this one here, the red one. And it says also to disregard this. So disregard the red washer and this plastic here. This is a shipping uh, protector. So now all we have to do is make sure this fits right in the shaft. You can feel it, it falls into place. Put this washer back on and put the nut back on hold the propeller so you can give it some torque okay that's it that is done came down perfect and the shaft is plenty long for those days rough seas um, and I can also raise it up if I want to I'll show you how like this and see now I can move up here freely without touching anything and it has plenty of room between the rail here so the only time that I cannot have it is when the head is close here to the rail. It could be under it or it could be over it and it will work perfect. And now to bring it in, all I have to do is hit the clutch, bring it down and it goes right under the rock rail. See, as you see there, I have plenty of room here. I have one inch. 
and the shaft here has plenty of room down there. Car looks perfect. Like the way it looks, looks real good. And if you look from here, it's well out of the way when I'm docking against the marina it's well out of the way so if you look at it it's well away from the docking area this is where the boat is going to be docking straight that way linear this way and it's going to avoid hitting the uh, main coda there straight this way plenty of room I got about extra foot there and here there's about an inch it's not touching there All right it looks awesome so now the only thing I have to do is wait a day or two for my batteries to come from Amazon. I got 300 amp batteries, so a total of 300 amps, and I have an inboard charger with a three bank. So that's gonna be the next video, installing the wiring and the batteries in the charger. And after that, I'm gonna put it to the test. And in the description below, I'm gonna place the links on all of the items that I use, uh, the aluminum bracket, the starboard, and all the hardware. And if you like this video, how to mount a Minn Kota trolling motor into a pilot house, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Navigate safe. It was very time consuming, but it was worth the hard work.